Hey guys, welcome to Daily Prophetic. I have a dream that I want to share with you guys, something that happened this morning where the Lord woke me up um, at a very specific time at 3 a.m. I was woken up and I was woken out of a dream that the Lord gave me. And, you know, these are things that I have actually spoken about this before. But it's almost like the Lord is emphasizing this the whole time. I think it's about the second or third time that I've had a similar dream. So it's kind of like the Holy Spirit is saying, pay attention to these things. But this one that I had last night was probably the most descriptive and real tangible dream that the Lord gave me regarding this matter. And in this dream, I was visiting a friend. And we went to their house. And as this friend was leading and guiding me through their house, kind of like showing me how they have barricaded certain entrances, how well um, secure their house is. They went through the house. We went through certain rooms, areas, front door, the, the outside yard, and almost like showing me the precautions that they took to secure the house and they were explaining to me about past uh, I wouldn't say burglaries but break-ins that they had about people coming into their house and as we were going through this house I was just observing I didn't say a word in the dream but as I was observing this kind of like being on a private tour um, which is felt quite strange but as a, as we went through this house we came to this one point where there was a sliding window where two windows came and they slide together and they close. And as he was speaking, I, I had an interesting encounter in the dream where it's almost like I had an encounter with the Lord in a dream of the Lord. And while he was talking and I looked at this window, all the while he's explaining how secure this house is that nothing can get in. Nothing that isn't supposed to be there can get in. And as I was looking at this window, I saw that there was a, a tiny gap. Like you, you think the window is closed, but it isn't. You think it's locked, but it isn't. How there was a little gap between the window. How someone can put their fingers in there and open up the window. And it was the most surreal feeling that I had. It was almost like my eyes got laser focused on that window that was open like a millimeter, like, you know, an eighth of an inch, so small. You can't even see it with the naked eye from a distance. And as I was looking at this, I didn't mention anything about the window being open. And immediately when I woke up from that dream, that was the entirety of the dream. But when I woke up from that, the Holy Spirit started speaking to me about how we barricade our front door, our yards, all the big and obvious entrances we barricade from the enemy. The things that we know that we might be, have been struggling with in the past, we barricade those entrances and we keep them well shut. But sometimes there are these little side doors, these little windows that we don't think is that important to check up, that we don't think is that important to close up, to be certain that we have to check these things. I'm talking about sin, guys. I'm talking about sinful habits, things that we need to keep in check in our life. That was the analogy that the Holy Spirit drew when I saw these entrances and the doors being barricaded, keeping the enemy out of our houses. The Bible tells us that do you not know that your body is a, is a house, is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And the enemy is constantly trying to infiltrate your life, constantly trying to get in, uh, find ways to, to get into your house, to get into your life, to wreak havoc in your house. And how the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about these little foxes that spoil the vine, little foxes that can spoil the vine. And he gave me the scripture in Song of Solomon's 2 and 15, Song of Solomon's 2 and 15. If someone can comment that, that would be great. Song of Solomon 2, 15, where it says, Catch us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. 
And, you know, when, when the Holy Spirit gave me this verse, as I was praying about this this morning, praying into this, he was, the Holy Spirit was making it clear to me that in 2024, we have to catch the little foxes. We cannot allow these little things that we think might not have a big hold on us in life, hold on our lives, that we need to catch the little foxes because they will spoil the vineyard, the fruit that God has been growing in your life. Those little foxes will spoil the vineyard in 2024. And the Holy Spirit was making it so clear that we need to be ruthless with the small foxes, with sin in our life. And hey, there is grace. I know we're just human. We do make mistakes, but we cannot allow sinful habits to, to grab hold of our lives. Even those little things that we know we need to get right. 2024 is a year where we have to be very careful of these things. You cannot leave the door just a little bit open. You cannot leave uh, uh, any foothold for the enemy because he will come in and he will destroy the things that God has been building and cultivating in your life. The fruit that God has been growing in your life is at stake in 2024. And it's how the, the enemy will try to get in in the most subtle ways, in the most subtle ways. You know, this is probably the second or third time that I'm talking about this specific topic. And I just want to be obedient. I have to share the things that the Lord is putting on my heart to share with this community, with this group. So those little things, I'm going to lead us in a prayer where we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to bring to remembrance. If there are things that we need to get right, that there's no condemnation, there's no shame. But the Holy Spirit wants to help you. He wants to help me. He wants to help us get rid of these things, to highlight these things, to point them out to us. Because that is what a good father will do. He's not shunning anyone. He's not shaming anyone. There's no condemnation in Christ. But the Holy Spirit wants to help us. The sanctification process is so important in the Christian walk and the Christian life. And it is a process. But the Holy Spirit is there to help us take our hands and walk us through this. Walk us through repentance. Walk us through uh, sanctification. And walk us through the process of becoming so like Christ. That when, when people hear you speak, when people look at your life, they see Christ within you. Amen. So guys, I want to lead us in a prayer. And just take the time. Let's just take a moment that... If you aren't in a place right now where you can pray, listen to this video afterwards in your quiet time. Just do this prayer with me and ask the Holy Spirit to highlight areas in our lives that we need to get right. That He wants to step in and cleanse and sanctify in Jesus' name. So Lord, I pray right now, Holy Spirit, I pray that you bring to remembrance if there is anything that you want us to be aware of, of those little foxes, Holy Spirit, I pray right now, make us aware of those little foxes that shouldn't be there. Holy Spirit, I pray that you show them right now. Speak to your people. Just highlight those things, Lord. Jesus, we want to be so like you. We want to be Christ-likeness. Lord, I pray that you highlight those things. And Father, I also pray that you give us the strength to deal with those things. Father, if there are people dealing with addiction, we break the power of addiction right now over your people's lives. We break the power of lust over your people's lives right now in Jesus name. We break the power of intrusive thoughts in Jesus name. We break the back of the enemy right now. We break the hold that the enemy has over God's people right now in Jesus name. Holy Spirit, I ask that you 
look at our hearts and look at the sincerity of our hearts where we come before you confessing those things. Lord, repenting of anything that we need to repent of, anything that we need to get clean with. Lord, we come right now and we lay it at your feet. The word of God says that we can approach the throne of grace boldly, boldly. So Lord, we come to you boldly right now and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Show us grace and forgive our sins. Jesus, we ask this in your mighty name. Amen. Guys, not everyone is, um, maybe it's not possible to, to pray with right now where you are. But please, I'm, I urge you to listen to this message again afterwards and ask the Holy Spirit to highlight the areas that He wants to sanctify, that He wants to work on, where the fruit of the Holy Spirit, where He wants to cultivate that even more. Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit where he wants to cultivate that in our lives even more in 2024. Amen. Thank you guys for listening. And I will see you then in a few days time for another video. God bless.